So day 27's prompt is favor. And when it comes to this, the mindset that I always have is when it comes when it comes to how I do my um, interviews. There have been plenty of times where I've interviewed somebody who I'm actually backing. But I always try and make clear that I'm not trying to curry favor with um, that particular interview. Because the whole purpose of my channel and of my podcast and everything that I do is to showcase what's out there. And that's the reason why the most important part of the uh, podcast for me is things like the um, Kickstarter Spotlight and the news, which is why I didn't want to give up the Gazette when we shifted over from Monastery Live to Geek Watch on Sundays. It's been my philosophy for years that there's a whole lot out there, and I could either be another person lamenting that everybody's focused on just the big two and leave it at that, or I could take matters into my own hands. And for the past six years, I present to you taking matters into my own hands. And really, the um, the whole interview thing started off as kind of a happy accident, because when I had covered the Virtue Signal card game, I had offhandedly said that I wouldn't mind um, having a chance to talk to um, its creator. Well, little did I know, I would end up getting a response on that, and the rest was history. And while I had done a couple interviews here and, here and there, it wasn't like that was going to be a focus for me. Obviously, plans change. And I hope to interview people, not just from tabletop games, but other mediums as well, just to get an opportunity to share their stories. Um, this might apply. This applies with both independent film directors, with voice actors, with all sorts of folk. The only problem is, of course, I'm a small-time guy, so obviously the uh, pool that I'm going to have is slim. But it's not going to stop me from trying. 